Imagine this. A young boy, innocent, trusting. He loves his older brother, idolizes him. The older brother, charming, manipulative, sees the younger as a pawn. He weaves a lie, a story of a hidden treasure, leads his brother on a wild goose chase. The younger, excited, follows blindly. Hours they search, nothing. The older brother, laughing, reveals the cruel truth. No treasure, only a lie to exploit his brother's trust. This, a taste of the devil's bargain. Deception, a tool as old as time, used for power, for personal gain. It preys on our vulnerabilities, our deep need to trust. Nowhere is this more potent than in our closest relationships. Family, friends, lovers, where we let our guard down. It is here that the devil's bargain is struck. Trust traded for manipulation, love for betrayal. History whispers tales of such bargains. Deceit, a seductive temptress. She whispers promises of power, of control, offers shortcuts to success, to getting what we desire. Her allure is potent, intoxicating. We, the tempted, see only the rewards, blind to the price. This is the nature of the devil's bargain. To gain, we must sacrifice, often our integrity, our humanity. The deceiver, a master manipulator. They study their prey, learn their weaknesses, their desires. They craft their lies with precision, tailored to exploit. They wear masks of sincerity, of trustworthiness. Their words, honeyed poison, drip into the ears of the unsuspecting. The world a stage for deception. Politics, business, personal relationships, all arenas where the game is played. We are all players, some more skilled than others. Some unwitting victims, others willing participants. The stakes are high, the consequences dire. For in the devil's bargain, there are no true winners, only casualties. Trust, a precious commodity. It binds us together, creates bonds of love, friendship, loyalty. But trust, like a delicate flower, can be easily crushed. And the deceiver, like a serpent, slithers in to exploit this vulnerability. They use our trust as a weapon against us, turning our strengths into weaknesses. The serpent whispers lies, half-truths, distortions. It plants seeds of doubt, of suspicion. It manipulates our perceptions, makes us question our own reality. This is the insidious nature of deceit, the slow poison that erodes trust from within. The closer the relationship, the deeper the betrayal cuts. Family, friends, lovers, those we allow into our inner circle. They know our secrets, our vulnerabilities, our dreams. This knowledge, a weapon in the hands of a deceiver. They use it to strike at our core, to inflict maximum pain. History, a tapestry woven with threads of deceit. Kings and queens, emperors and generals, all have used deception to gain power, to crush their enemies. The annals of history are filled with tales of betrayal, of trust shattered for political gain. Caesar, a man of immense power, undone by his own hubris. He trusted Brutus, his close friend, his confidant. But Brutus, ambitious, power-hungry, saw Caesar as an obstacle. He joined the conspiracy, plunged the dagger into his friend's back. The price of power paid in blood and betrayal. Judas, another pawn in the game of power. He betrayed Christ, his teacher, his friend, for a paltry sum. Driven by greed, by the allure of silver, he sold his soul to the devil. His name, forever synonymous with treachery, a stark reminder of the cost of deceit. The world today, no less treacherous, deception, a constant presence in our lives. From the boardrooms of corporations to the halls of government, the game continues. Politicians spin narratives, corporations manipulate data, individuals craft facades to hide their true intentions. The internet, a breeding ground for deceit, fake news, online scams, identity theft. The digital world is awash with treachery. Anonymity empowers deceivers, allows them to operate from the shadows, to prey on the vulnerable. 
social media, a platform for curated realities. We project idealized versions of ourselves, hiding our flaws, our insecurities. We chase likes, followers, validation, often at the expense of truth. The line between reality and fabrication blurs, making us all complicit in the culture of deceit. Betrayal, a visceral blow, it strikes at our core, shatters our sense of self. The pain is raw, intense, all-consuming. We are caught in an emotional maelstrom, tossed between anger, sadness, confusion, disbelief. The world, once familiar, now feels alien. We question everything, everyone. Our trust, once freely given, now guarded, hesitant. We withdraw, build walls around our hearts, fearing further pain. The wound of betrayal, slow to heal. It festers, leaving scars that may never fully fade. We carry the pain with us, a constant reminder of the fragility of trust the ever-present potential for deceit. The scars of deception, deep and enduring, they mark our souls, alter our perceptions, shape our interactions with the world. We become wary, guarded, hesitant to trust. The world, once seen through a lens of optimism, now viewed with cynicism, suspicion, Betrayal can shatter our faith in humanity. We see darkness where once there was light. We question the motives of others, see deceit lurking in every shadow. The world becomes a battleground, a constant struggle against potential threats. The scars of deception can also make us stronger. We learn to be more discerning, to recognize the signs of deceit. We develop a keen sense of intuition, a finely tuned radar for falsehood. We become more resilient, less easily swayed by manipulation. Recognizing the serpent, a crucial skill in navigating the treacherous waters of human interaction. The deceiver, a master of disguise, adept at blending in, appearing trustworthy. But there are signs, subtle cues that betray their true nature. Observe their actions, not just their words. Do their actions align with their promises? Do they consistently act in their own self-interest, even at the expense of others? These are red flags, warning signs that should not be ignored. Pay attention to inconsistencies in their stories. Do their narratives shift, details change? Do they avoid direct questions, offer vague answers? These are the hallmarks of a fabricated reality, a carefully constructed facade designed to deceive. Vigilance, our shield against deceit. In a world rife with manipulation, we must be constantly on guard. This does not mean living in fear, but rather cultivating a healthy skepticism, a discerning eye. Trust, but verify. Do not blindly accept information, especially when it comes from sources with vested interests. Seek independent verification, corroborate facts, challenge assumptions. Educate yourself on the tactics of deception. Understand the psychology of manipulation, the art of persuasion. Knowledge is power, and by understanding how deceit operates, we can better defend ourselves against it. The devil's bargain, a constant temptation, but by cultivating vigilance, by honing our intuition, by seeking truth, we can resist its allure. We can navigate the treacherous landscape of human interaction with wisdom, discernment and a steadfast commitment to integrity.